Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to match each equation with its graph and to explain our choices. So we have y equals 3x, y equals 3 to the x, y equals x cubed, and y equals the cube root of x. So the first thing we can get out of the way is y equals 3x is a linear function, therefore it is a line, and the only line that we see here is this green one here, which is function g. So a y equals 3x, is represented by function g. Now, between c and d, we have y equals x cubed and y equals the cube root of x. Now we can notice that these two things here are inverses of each other. So if we take y equals x cubed and we switch the variables and we solve for y, we get y is equal to the cube root of x, which is d. So therefore, these will have the same shape, just at different orientations. And if we see, f has this general shape, and g has this general shape, these are inverses of each other. Compare them to this blue f, this function, has a different shape, right? It's a, just one smooth curve versus these sort of have a bend in them. Therefore, we know F and G should be clarifying. Capital F and lowercase g are inverses of each other. So for C and D, Y equals X cubed and Y equals the cube root of X. Now we have to use our knowledge of the basic shape of common functions. So f is shaped like a power function. So therefore, capital F represents x cubed. And g is the inverse of that, y equals the cube root of x. So lowercase g represents d. Therefore, the only one left is b. y equals 3 to the x. It's an exponential function represented by lowercase f. So you can see, with just a little bit of a knowledge of the general shape of common functions, you can distinguish these graphs without finding any points.